Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leet Code called Rotting Oranges. This is part of Leet Code 75 and a super fun question. So what is it asking? We're given an M by N grid where each cell can have one of three values. Zero representing an empty cell, one representing a fresh orange, or two representing a rotten orange. Every minute, any fresh orange that is four directionally adjacent to a rotten orange becomes rotten. Return the minimum number of minutes that must elapse until no cell has a fresh orange. If this is impossible, we return negative one. So example one, we have a rotten orange right over here, and these are our fresh oranges. So minute one, what happens? Our rotten orange infects the fresh oranges that are four directionally adjacent. So top, down, left, or right. So these are the only two that are in bounds and have fresh oranges. So these become rotten. Now minute two, these rotten oranges will rot new fresh oranges. So what is adjacent to them? It's going to be this one and this one. So minute two, these are all of our rotten oranges. The next minute that elapses, this one gets rotten. And finally, this one is rotten. Since there are no more fresh oranges in our grid, we know we can rot every single orange and it's taken four minutes to do so. Now, example two, this is our grid and I'm gonna draw it out just so we can visualize this. We have two, one, one, zero, one, one, and one, zero, one. So our only rotten orange is this top left corner again. What happens at minute one, this orange becomes rotten. There's nothing to the bottom of us, so there's no orange to infect, which means the only one that becomes rotten is this one. Minute two, what was adjacent to this? It was this and this. Minute three, this one becomes rotten. It was adjacent over here. And minute four, this one becomes rotten. But no matter how many minutes pass, we'll never be able to infect this one because it's actually not reachable by any rotten orange. So we're going to return negative one. And example three, we have zero and two. So we have an empty cell and already a rotten orange. There are no fresh oranges here to rot. So we're already at the end state we need to be. And so we're going to return minute zero. And that is our output. Now, there are a few things we want to keep in mind with this problem, but once we have all of that sorted, this problem becomes really straightforward. So say I have the following input example. I have two rotten oranges to begin with on both corners. What I want to do is keep track of the number of fresh oranges that I have. So how many fresh oranges do I have right now? Well, let's check. We're going to initialize fresh to be zero and we're going to loop through our grid. So how many rows and columns are we looping through? So rows and columns is going to equal length of grid and length of grid of zero. So this is the length of the grid, the number of rows we have, and this is the length of grid of zero, the number of columns that we have. So for row in range rows and for column in range columns, if the cell we're on is equal to one, we know we can increase the count of our fresh oranges. So if grid of row column equals one, fresh plus equals one. So now we're keeping count of the number of fresh oranges we have. But what happens when we come across a zero? We don't really care. We're not going to do anything with that value. But if we come across a two, we want to keep track of the indices we're seeing those rotten oranges. So I'm going to make another array called rotten, and that's going to hold the indices of my rotten oranges. So elif grid of row column equals two. I'm going to append to this list the index where I've seen this two. So rotten dot append row and column. Once we're out of this for loop, we're now going to know the number of fresh oranges we have and all the indices of our rotten oranges. So the number of fresh oranges is going to be five and the indices of our rotten oranges are going to be zero, zero and two, two. What do we want to do from here? We want to keep track of all the minutes it takes to rot all the fresh oranges, if it's even possible. So another thing we want to initialize is going to be the minutes. It's going to start off at zero. Now, what do I do? I want to see from my two indices every fresh orange I can reach in that four directionally adjacent cell. So top, bottom, left, right, what can I reach? For this index over here, the only reachable orange is going to be over here. So this now becomes rotten. And for this index, the only fresh orange that can become rotten is this one over here. So now we're going to decrease the count of our fresh oranges. There are two less fresh oranges that we need to worry about. And we're also not going to keep track of our original rotten oranges. We already checked everywhere we could with those. We've layered out as far as possible, and there's nothing else we can really do with them. So our new indices, our freshly rotted oranges, are going to be the ones we are now going to check in those four directions again. So those two indices are now going to become my new rotten array, and I'm going to repeat that same process. So what fresh oranges can these now rot? So again, I just check in those four directions, right? I can rot this one and this one. 
It doesn't matter if they're reachable by both, we're only rotting them once. So now they're gonna be two less fresh oranges we're gonna need to worry about. These have now rotted. Now, since these are our newly rotted oranges, this goes into our array, our rotten array, and we're now gonna check how far out we can branch from those. We don't care about the old ones anymore, we reached everywhere we possibly could have. Now at this point, if we notice there's really no other place we can rot, no other fresh orange we can reach, we're gonna stop. We can't traverse any further. But if our fresh orange count hasn't gone down to zero, we'll have to return negative one. Because no matter how many minutes pass, we'll never actually be able to reach that orange. But if the fresh orange count has gone to zero, we know we'll just return the number of iterations, the number of minutes it took to get there. And that's literally all we need to do. So let's go ahead and code up the remaining part of this. So what we're going to do is make a while loop. While there are still indices in our rotten array, so while rotten, while it's not empty, and our fresh orange count is greater than zero. So fresh is greater than zero. There are still oranges that potentially can be reached. We are going in our first iteration, so I'm going to increment that count for minutes. So minutes plus equals one. And now I'm going to make a new temporary array to store our newly rotted oranges. So current is going to be empty. Now I'm going to loop through all the indices we have stored in rotten. So for R, C, in rotten, I'm going to be making check in all four directions. So check is going to be an array storing all of those indices. So R plus one, C, R minus one, C, R and C plus one, and R and C minus one. So looping through my current rotten array, R and C are going to start off being 0, 0. So we're at this index over here, and R plus 1, C is going to check below us. R minus 1, C is going to check the row above us. R, C plus 1 checks over here, and R, C minus 1 checks over here to the left of us. Now I want to make sure everything I'm checking is actually in bounds. So for every index that we are checking, so for I, J in check, if I is greater than or equal to 0, and j is greater than or equal to zero, and i is less than the number of rows we have, and j is less than the number of columns we have. So at this point, we know we're only going to check whatever is in bounds. Now, we also want to make sure we're only going to check a fresh orange. If the cell is empty, we don't want to do anything there. And if the cell already has a rotten orange, it's not going to be a newly rotten orange, so we also don't care about that. So we also want to make sure grid of ij equals one. If this is the case, what are we going to do? Well, we know the cell we are at right now is within bounds, currently has a fresh orange, and is four directionally adjacent to a rotten orange, so we can go ahead and rot it. So grid of ij is now going to equal two, which means our fresh orange count is going to go down. So fresh minus equals one. And since we have rotted this orange, this is a newly rotted orange, we're gonna append this to our current array. So current dot append ij. Now, if our fresh count has already gone to zero, there's really no need to check any other cell that's for directionally adjacent or any other cell in our rotten array. So we can just return right away. So if fresh equals zero, we're going to return minutes, the number of minutes it took to get all the oranges rotted. Now, once we go out of this for loop, we would have checked all the cells that are adjacent to us in bounds and already fresh oranges. And once we exit this for loop, we now would have checked all the oranges we can rot with our current rotten oranges. So now what we want to do is set rotten to be our current array. It's going to only deal with the new oranges that have rotted. So rotten is now going to equal current. And once we're out of this while loop, we're only going to exit for one of two reasons. Either we have no more fresh oranges, so we can return the number of minutes it took to do so, or the count of the fresh oranges was greater than zero, but we exited because our rotten array was empty. There were no new oranges we were able to rot. So based on what the condition is, we are going to return accordingly. So if fresh equals zero, we're going to return minutes, the number of minutes it took to get there, Else, we're going to return negative one because we know it's not going to be possible to rot all the oranges. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, before leaving, let's just quickly run through an example to see how this is all going to tie together. So in our example, this was our input and we initialized our fresh oranges, the rotten array and the minutes initialized to zero. We went through our grid, counting the number of fresh oranges we have and storing the indices for our rotten oranges. So we are going in this while loop over here. Since rotten is not empty and the count for fresh is zero, we can go inside and we're adding one to the count of minutes. So, so minutes is now going to be one. We're going to initialize a current array that is going to be empty and we're looping through for R and C in rotten. 
So our first R and C, our first row and column that we're going to spread out our rot from is going to be zero, zero. And we want to check in all four directions. So first we're going to check below us, R plus one and C. So R is going to be one, C is going to be zero. What's that index? One, zero. Well, first we want to check if they're in bounds. This is going to be in bounds. It's within the grid, right? Both of these are greater than or equal to zero and less than the rows and columns respectively. Now we also want to check if this is a fresh orange. It's not, it's equal to zero. So we don't go in this if, and we go back in our for loop. So now we're going to loop through our next ij we want to check. So i is now going to be negative one and j is going to be zero. Now we see that this is going to be out of bounds. So it's going to fail on this if, and we go back in this for loop at r c plus one. That puts us at index zero one over here. This is in bounds and it equals one. So it's a fresh orange, which means we can now mark it as a rotten orange. So this is now going to be two and we're going to decrease the count of fresh. So it's going to go to four and we're going to append IJ to our current array. So this is now holding zero one. And since fresh hasn't equaled zero, we can't return just yet. So we go back in this for loop and we check this last IJ. Well, this is going to be zero negative one, which is going to be out of bounds. It's going to fail this if, and we are done with this for loop. So we go to this for loop, which means our new RC is going to be two and two. We're now starting from our next rotten orange and seeing how far we can branch out. And actually we don't even need these over here. We're just modifying everything in place. So this is what our array looks like. Now making all the same checks for this index, what do we get? We start with three, two, which is going to be out of bounds. So we don't go in that. Now we're going to check one, two. One, two is in bounds and equal to one. So we're going to mark that as rotten. So this is now going to be two. Fresh count goes to three. We're appending that to our current array. So it's going to be one and two. And since fresh doesn't equal zero, we don't return yet. Go back in this loop, check two, three, which we know is going to be out of bounds. Go back in this loop. And now we're going to check two, one. Two, one is in bounds, but it equals zero, not one. So again, we don't go in this for loop and we are through checking everything we could have checked. So we exit this for loop as well. We've gone through all the indices in rotten and we're going to set rotten equal to our current array. So this is where we are right now. We go back in this while loop. Rotten is not empty. There are newly rotted oranges we can still branch out from and fresh is greater than zero. Both are true. So we're going to go in this while loop and we're going to increment minutes. This is our second iteration occurring. So we're at minute two and we have an empty current array and we're going to do the same thing again, right? Just loop through the indices of our rotted oranges. R is zero, C is one, so we're right over here and we want to check in our four directions. The first one we check is R plus one and C. So cell one one is in bounds and equal to one. We're going to mark this as rotten, decrease the count of our fresh oranges, append this to our current array, and we don't go in this if condition, we go back in this loop. Negative one, one is going to be out of bounds, so we go in this for loop again. Now we're going to check R and C plus one. So we're checking IJ, which is one, two, and we can mark this as rotten. It's within bounds equal to one, this becomes two. Fresh count goes to one. We're going to append our index to our array. So this is going to be zero and two. Going back in this loop, the last one we want to check is to the left of us. So this is going to be index zero, zero, which we already checked, right? And we're going to see why we don't check it again, because while it's in bounds, it's not equal to one. It's not a fresh orange, so we don't care about it. And we exit the for loop and can check our next rotten orange. So one, two. Now over here, we're going to be going in this for loop again, checking the four directions, but we can see that it's only surrounded by either already rotten oranges, or it's going to be out of bounds in one of those four directions. So there's nothing else we could really append to current from this cell. So there's really nothing we can do from this rotten orange. We can't decrease the count of fresh and we can't add another cell to our current array. So we're going to exit out of this for loop and we're going to set rotten to be this new current array. So going through our while loop one last time, fresh is still greater than zero. There's still one fresh orange left. Rotten is not empty. We can go in here, increment the count of minutes. It's going to be three. Current is empty and we're looping through. Our first RC is going to be one, one. So at this cell here, we're checking the four directions, right? We're making this check. They're all in bounds, but none of them are actually equal to one. So we'll never go in this if condition and we'll just exit out the for loop every single time. So the next RC we're going to check is going to be zero, two. It's going to be this cell right over here. And again, the same thing is going to happen. Two of those checks in our array are going to be out of bounds and the other two aren't equal to one. So there's really nothing we can decrement from count or append it to current. So once we exit this for loop, rotten equals current. So now it is empty. So once we go in here, we can't go in this while loop anymore because rotten is empty. There's really nothing else we can spread out from. 
So we go in our check. Since fresh is not equal to zero, we're going to return negative one because we're actually not able to rot every single orange. And that is going to be our final output. Now, for time and space complexity, for space, we're modifying everything in place. So this is going to be O of 1. And for time, we could be potentially hitting every single cell 1. So it's going to be O of M times N if there are M times N elements in our grid. So we just went ahead and solved the rotting oranges. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.